What's up guys, Tommy Bowyer here from Movie Rewind and today we say goodbye to Ruby Spark. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Ruby Spark first appeared in Casualty in Series 32, Episode 41, broadcast on the 14th of July 2018, and quite early on she became one of my favourite Casualty characters because I found her a really interesting and complex character. Now a lot of Casualty characters, especially paramedics, don't follow the rules. You know, they don't. They just don't follow the rules. They're very kind of action hero type people. Think of uh, Jeff Collier, for example, very action hero type paramedic. Ruby Spark was very different for that. For the reason was she always followed the rules. She did everything by the book, and I found that really interesting. And I think from that moment on, she became one of my favorite casualty characters. A number of the storylines she was involved in were really strong. Of course, her partnership with fellow paramedic Ian Dean during his mental health storyline, I thought she did an amazing performance in that, and I was secretly hoping that Ian and Ruby got together because I thought they had a great friendship and great chemistry on screen. And you can't deny that Maddie Hill didn't give strong performances in the role. Of course, I've heard some people say online that they didn't feel she was always giving a strong performance. However, I disagree. I thought she handled the character really well. I've not seen many casualty characters which were so different to Ruby Spark. She just had something about her which made her interesting. And I have to say, from looking online, it's very clear that she became a fan favorite casualty character, which is pretty hard to do considering she weren't even on screen for two years. Sometimes you have to appear on casualty for three or four or even five years until you become a fan favorite. Ruby Spark seemed to become a fan favorite within a couple of months of appearing on the show. And honestly, some of the later storylines involving her, of course, the tragic storyline involving her sister who died and she had to look after her niece, I found that was a very emotional storyline. And to be honest, her exit storyline was pretty emotional. She decided to give up her career as a paramedic and go and bring up her niece. Now, compared to how she arrived when she wanted to be a paramedic and that was the most important thing in her life and she didn't want to no, she didn't want any other distractions she followed everything by the book and she just wanted to get on with a paramedic for her to give up her career as a paramedic in order to bring up her baby niece that's some great development there and it truly goes seems that her story arc from joining the ED has now ended I am upset to see Ruby Spark leave because I think Maddie Hill is an incredible actress and I would have loved to see more of her performances on the show. However, I also think Ruby could have had a lot more to offer for Casualty. I think she could have had a lot more storylines. And, you know, if she had just done three years, you know, three years on the show would have been enough. But we got less than two years and I'm, I'm a little upset about that. I would have liked to see more of her. However... She had some great storylines while she was on the show and I wish Maddie Hill all the best in whatever she chooses to do next. The last thing I'm going to talk about in relation to Ruby Spark is of course her final episode. Now for many casualty characters they don't get a happy ending. I thought it was brilliant that the producers decided to give Ruby a happy ending. Of course she got to drive off with her baby niece. I thought that was a great episode and from looking online and on Twitter a lot of people also thought the same thing. It was great that while we were upset that Ruby was leaving, she did get a happy ending. And that just makes you feel good inside. Sometimes it's good to get those happy endings. They just have to be earned. And this one felt well deserved. So I'm very sorry to see Ruby go. However, she got a great and happy ending. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed this little casualty video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved quality content in the future. And I will see you in another one. See ya!